Are you finding yourself a little bit overwhelmed by what's happening today during this global crisis with COVID-19? If that's the case, I want to give you a powerful question to help you refocus on what is for sure your bigger future. Hi, Shannon Waller here and welcome to Team Success. I am recording this during the COVID-19 global shutdown and health crisis, so I want to give you some really relevant information and ways of approaching things with your team that I think will just be really, really helpful for everyone's focus and confidence as we move through this together. One of the conversations I've been having with Dan that I've found to be particularly profound is actually the need to focus in on the future, because for all of us, that future has suddenly and radically changed. Dan wrote this to me in an impact filter a couple of days ago, and I wanted to share it with you. He said, the biggest casualty so far for most people is the loss of the future that they were expecting before the shutdown. Truer words have never been spoken, and you may have actually had a sense of grief about that future and things that were changing. I know I had a ton of trips planned, one with each of my daughters, and it took me a few days to kind of get over the fact that those weren't going to be happening anymore. And I'm someone who really enjoys traveling, so there was a feeling of really having to recalibrate my emotions and my thinking to this new reality. Then it turned out there was lots of other stuff to do, so I got focused on that instead. But really, I think that people's futures have changed, and sometimes they're a lot more uncertain. And I think it's powerful to be able to help people to look further than that. So I want to give you a question that I would love for you to meet with your teams about. It's also a brilliant question to ask of your clientele, if that's the role that you're in. And if you're someone who works with a business owner, please ask this of your business owner. This would be a great leadership conversation to have. And the question is, it's really a modification of what we call our R factor or relationship factor question of strategic coach. And the question goes like this, and this time we've actually narrowed it from a normal three-year framework into a 90-day framework. And here's the question. If you and I are meeting here 90 days from now, and write down the date for whatever that is, looking back to today, What has to have happened for us, both personally and professionally, to really feel good about our progress over the course of this COVID-19 global shutdown? Get really, really specific. And if you're like me and like Dan Sullivan, you want to come out of this better and stronger and more capable than you went in. (laughs) There's a great expression, a crisis is a terrible thing to waste. So this is an opportunity to grow and to learn and to discard things that were no longer working. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that it's a really profound opportunity to reflect. I know I was busy, 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 busy. And now that I am in, I was going to say forced confinement, that's a little strong, but you know what I mean. It's interesting. I'm finding a new pace and a new rhythm. One of the highlights of my day is going to walking my dog at the end of the day and going out into the neighborhood safely, social, physically distancing, don't worry, but just getting some sunshine and breathing some fresh air. So those little things that before were, frankly, a bit of a chore are now things that I'm appreciating. One of the things that, again, is really key about this question is to think about, okay, 90 days from now, what do I want to be true? What do I want to be relevant? You know, how do I want to come out of this? And I would look at all aspects of your life, personally and professionally. Certainly if it's in a team leader conversation or with your business owner or with your team, you may choose to keep it to the professional side. But personally, I think it's a very profound question to answer for yourself too. And I want to share with you an experience. I kept a meeting on my calendar, which could have gone off, but I, we decided to leave it. And that was our one-year planner meeting. So at Strategic Coach, we have an awesome tool, simple, that really we lay out our one-year goals, and there's five in this particular version of it. And then you tell yourself why that goal is important. And then you figure out 90-day progress. So we had started this at our team meeting, end of 2019, beginning of 2020. And this was our quarterly check-in. So it's one of those things that, well, is this really... I know it's important, but is it urgent? But we decide to keep it on the calendar. I have to tell you, that was one of my favorite conversations this week because I realized, oh, I can still accomplish every single one of my longer term goals. You know, the fact that this quarter is weird and not at all what I planned does not stop me from actually accomplishing my bigger goals. So I want to share that experience with you because it had me look past 
today. It had me look past this week. It had me look past the next month and really focus on that bigger future. And my bigger future is still bigger. And I think that's one of the messages that happened. You can really provide an enormous amount of leadership by focusing on 90 days from now, because that's certainly the most immediate time period that people are clear on. But then even if you want to take it a year out or 18 months out or three years out, some of our salespeople are having conversations with people who are wanting to have conversations about their three-year vision. How phenomenal is that? So just because we have a current and temporary crisis does not mean that our futures have to disappear. One of the huge opportunities to be a hero and to provide leadership is to ask people a future-based question like this R factor question, this relationship question. And again, it's if you and I were meeting here, three years, 18 months, one year, 90 days from now, what has to have happened for you personally and professionally if you're really happy with your progress during this time? And again, you can play with it, change the time frame, but it's an incredibly powerful question and gets people focused out of their, you know, perhaps trauma today. And it really gets them out of the reactive and into their creative mindset. So I want to give you that, again, short and sweet message, but that future focused conversation that you can have with yourself and then obviously with others, especially with your teams, please, this will really help everyone get through this in a much more sane, healthy and productive and hopefully profitable and proactive way. So let me know what you think. Questions at strategiccoach.com. Always, always love your feedback. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, here's to your team's success. Mm -hmm.